This is HIV. Glycoproteins surround the viral envelope. Inside is a capsid, the protein shell of a virus. The capsid is enclosed around genetic material of the virus, as well as a reverse transcriptase and enzyme of HIV. The genetic material consists of two identical strands of viral RNA. Entering the host cell, in this case a lymphocyte. HIV enters the cell by attaching itself to at least two, two surface receptor proteins on T lymphocytes or other white blood cells. The primary receptor is CD4. A second receptor which loops through the cell membrane seven times is also necessary for HIV infection. Cells with seven transmembrane receptors of a different quaternary structure do not bind with HIV and are not infected. If the HIV does bind tightly to the receptor, it then fuses with the cell plasma membrane, removes the capsid proteins, and empties its viral proteins, including viral RNA, into the cell cytoplasm. Reverse transcriptase, an enzyme of the HIV, reads the viral nucleic acid sequence and transcribes it into a complementary DNA sequence. There are sometimes errors in reverse transcription, however, and as a result, viruses produced in a single infected cell are different from each other in surface and enzyme structure. Vaccines, which induce the production of antibodies which bind to specific viral surface molecules, therefore cannot be used to fight HIV. Reverse transcriptase catalyzes the synthesis of a second DNA strand complementary to the first. Integrase, another enzyme of the HIV, integrates or inserts the viral DNA into the DNA of the lymphocyte, forming integrated DNA or a provirus. If the lymphocyte is activated as part of the immune response, Transcription of the viral DNA begins, resulting in RNA molecules that serve as genomes for the production of multiple copies of viral RNA and as mRNAs for translation into viral proteins. The viral RNA has nine genes coding for the production of viral proteins and enzymes and would also be packaged as new viruses. Some of the proteins include structural enzymes like the viral envelope made in the ER and the enzymes reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease made in the cytosol. The proteins are all included in a single amino acid chain and must be separated in order to become functional. Viral protease cuts the polypeptide chain into individual protein components which then work to produce new viruses. Vesicles transport the glycoproteins to the plasma membrane. Capsids surround the viral genome and reverse transcriptase. The new virus then exits the lymphocyte. As they are released, they take some of the lymphocyte membrane containing viral surface proteins which will facilitate in the HIV's binding to receptors of the other immune system. Thanks for watching. Okay. Awesome. <laughs>